Hey guys, so on the 20th of May of this year, this Monday, I'm going to be giving out a, a webinar on Power Pivot and the actual uh, business intelligence stack of Microsoft uh, using Excel, GeoFlow, Data Explorer, and so on. Uh, but this webinar is going to be on Spanish only during this time, which is from 8 to 9 uh, on GMT minus 5. Uh, so that's basically it. It's, it's going to be uh, in Spanish. So I'm going to be covering all these topics. Uh, here in this website, you can actually uh, click the uh, in my blog. You can actually see the demo site. Uh, the the actual topics that I'm covering is actually just the user-driven BI, uh, Excel 2010, Excel 2013 with Power Pivot, uh, Dynamic Tables, which is just the name for Pivot Tables, Power View, Microsoft Explorer. Microsoft Data Explorer, sorry, and GeoFlow. Also, the integration with SharePoint. What is DAX and why you should know it? And this capa this capability of the actual solution from Power Pivot to actual Visual Studio and so on. So, since I don't have those, uh, uh, I don't have the opportunity to actually give out a webinar on English. So I, so I having had the chance to actually throw one. I'm gonna give out a free one here on YouTube. Again, this is gonna be the first part of a series of, a series of uh, videos that will be covering what I should be covering on this webinar. And basically, this is gonna be sponsored by my own firm, which is Power Solutions, and also by Portalfront, which is the SharePoint hosting. Uh, site uh, basically this SharePoint hosting provider the company that actually gives me this uh, access to have my own power PM models and my reports on the web so first let me explain you who I am my name is Miguel Escobar I'm a consultant and expert in Excel on power Pivot, and I'm the founder and owner of power solutions which is this logo this cool logo here I'm up for Positions Process Improvement, BPI, Power Pivot Access, and SharePoint. Um, all type of BI solutions like uh, ClickView, uh, uh, any type of uh, user-driven BI. Uh, any type of courses based on Excel, uh, any type of data modeling, trainings, and workshop. Uh, Microsoft, I'm an actual Microsoft Certified Professional. I'm a technology evangelist. I try to actually preach about Power Pivot. I'm an also uh, an authorized training for the Power Pivot workshop. You can see here down below is that you can actually see uh, my website, like my Twitter, uh, my YouTube account, which is this one, and my blogs, which is this one over here is in English, and the one below is in Spanish. So let's move on. Let's start with this. So what is Power Pivot? Powerpivot is a free add-in for Excel 2010 and native native for Excel 2013 created by Microsoft. It's not a third-party tool. It's something that was created by Microsoft and that actually has a meaning behind uh, all the uh, BI stack that they actually have. It's something that goes along with the, uh, the actual uh, uh, modeling tool, the actual tablet model. Uh, that we'll actually be talking about it later. Uh, it's a self-service BI tool and also a modeling tool. It's a total database stored in memory. It's actually stored and compressed in memory in your Excel workbook. Uh, you can actually use Q formulas. You can actually use MDX. And you can actually use a new language, which is the DAX query language. Uh, Basically, Power Pivot is the SSAS, which means it's an, just an acronym for SQL Server Analysis Services engine that has been integrated with Excel. So, what is this? What does this actually mean? Let me give you a quick analogy. Let's say that this car right here is my standard Excel. So this is my Excel, this is what you actually see every day, the highway, wherever you go, you actually see this type of car. Let's put it this here, just for now. 
And now the counterpart of this is the full enterprise SQL Server Analysis Services, which is basically like a Formula One car, specifically a Ferrari running at full speed. So let's say that from this Formula One, this car, I actually extract the engine. And now this power that actually holds this engine, I am going to be inserting that engine in my original Excel in this car that I see. So that's what we actually mean by the SSAS integrated in Excel is actually taking the whole engine or basically a part of it uh, to be uh, hosted or to be uh, integrated with Excel so you can actually get the best of what's the best out there. So the only question that remains is who can actually drive this car? It's actually a supercharged car. So who can actually drive it? We need to find that out. So this is the traditional BI workflow. This is what most of that analysts or any type of analysts actually go to every day. They actually play with Excel and they are heavily using pivot tables or even any any type of formulas and they actually are called just business users. If they need something specifically from the system or from any any source, they will have to trust me that business need to the BI expert or the IT expert. This IT expert is only a few. I need only have a little, a little few projects during a specific time frame. So this guy is all over the place trying to answer all of the questions from these guys. So you actually have to wait a long time in order to actually get some sort of response. But some of the times, or actually most of the time, is not the report that you actually want. So it has to go back to you, review it, and say, hey, this is not what we want. Uh, we actually need something that is this, this, and that, and it takes a longer time. So this can only translate into more time, more cost for the enterprise. You're actually dividing the priorities of these resources. We're dividing these teams as one of those two needs to actually uh, be on track with him keep track of him on how he's actually doing so you're dividing those and you're you're not actually adding value <laughs> to the actual final report what sounds and seems simple to you uh, to the BI expert might take a while to actually uh, make that calculation that aggregation so it's not actually adding value uh, to the whole process of getting your data and getting and gaining an insight. So let's compare that to the user-driven BI. So let's say that these guys are the business users, but now there are Power Pivot users. What they will do is that they will actually submit their Power Pivot model, the actual Excel file, to the BI expert. And what this BI expert will do is that using the familiar tools that they actually have as a BI expert, uh, just like SQL Server Analysis Services, uh, he will be able to give you a fast response and they report exactly how you actually want it, or even better. Or what they can actually do is that they can skip this guy, this BI expert, and go straight forward to the report exactly how they wanted it. And what this actually means, if you see here, is that the equation here is the old one. We used to gain a lot, a lot of time. We actually uh, spend a lot of time here, uh, spend a lot of costs. Uh, we divided the priorities, and we didn't actually add value. What changes here with user the BI is this: we add value. We did. We actually reduce cost and we reduce time in gaining insights. And this about the visions, the, the actual dividing the priorities and teams no longer exists. We are using one familiar standalone tool 
for the whole enterprise. So we're speaking the same language. We're speaking the same language across all the enterprise, from just the Power BI users to the BI expert to even the guys that run the SharePoint services or any any other type of IT infrastructure. Because we are all talking the same. We're all uh, building this uh, relationship between each other to actually speak this language and create even better reports and better even reach better insights at a much uh, faster uh, and more accurate, more valuable to the business uh, way. So here, what you actually see here is just some frequently used data sources. What we see here is just all the data sources what we that we could possibly use with Power Pivot, which is Informix, Adsoup, we have Access with our SQL, we have MySQL, we, we got Oracle with that is AP, Power Pivot in the web, Twitter, Facebook reports, uh, those reports are from the SQL Server reporting services, Excel itself, text, feeds, XML, you name it, we can actually get data from those sources by using either that explorer or by using just uh, the familiar power pivot that we all know. After that we need to understand what goes in power pivot. In power pivot we actually store what is called a data model and what does that comprehend is basically the tables and the relationships. So you can see in this image here basically have different tables let's say that this is a table this is a table this is a table and they are all related to one they are all related to each other so that's the actual data model this image here can be translated as a data model which is the tables and the relationships in the tables we actually get the columns and we got the column definition which is just the data type hey this is a, a numeric this is a text this is a date on that sort of stuff and we also get the calculated columns which each of those and with the relationships as you know uh, there's only uh, one to uh, many relationships uh, and they are active and there are inactive relationships which we will see later on but just so you know this is basically it this is tables and relationships and that is what is the data model uh, the measures is something else, is something that actually queries the data model. So we can actually see that later also. So what is X? It's just an acronym for Data Analysis Expressions, which is just a query language that works with relational data, specifically with the table model. It's similar to the Excel formula language, but it actually behaves differently depending on whether the formula is used in a computer column or a measure. Why should you actually learn the language? Because this will actually help you get the best out of your data model. You will be able to query your data in a faster and more optimized way. Besides that, we have something that is called uh, deployment types. Uh, let's say that you're actually considering PowerPoint as a BI solution with all the deployment types that we actually have here. We actually have a local which is that you actually use your local PC, your local laptop, just to actually play with the data and you hit refresh every day or I don't know, you can actually hit refresh as many times as you, as you want. Maybe you want to have this PowerPoint report on a network and set up a server or a, just a dedicated laptop or a dedicated PC so you can actually have a refresh service so you can actually open up this uh, workbook for you and hit refresh for you using Excel 2013 and the uh, some BBA code. We can syndicate uh, the actual reports by just uploading to SharePoint those uh, reports on SharePoint, scheduling those uh, refreshes as many times as we actually want and you no longer need Excel. It's all going to be web analytics, it's going to be all on the web. Or if we actually go further we can actually have the corporate solution which is the the actual table model hosted in a SQL Server Analysis Studio server specifically the SQL Server 2012 
so those are the ones that we actually have uh, right now uh, that we can actually use and it is up to you to decide which one fits uh, your need or which one do you actually need uh, apart from that we're gonna be checking out this demos later in the next few, be few videos and besides that I wanted to actually give you the chance because you can actually get a free trial site for 30 days uh, all you have to do is go to this website my website powersolutions.co go to the contact section and just send me an email fill out that form send me an email saying that you actually want that site uh, that free trial site and I can actually put you in contact with portal from the guys from portal from so they can actually give you this uh, opportunity to have your free trial site uh, they are the pioneers in power view hosting they have over 11 years of experience in the industry they have the best price that I've seen for this type of service and Basically, each client is unique. Is actually unique for them. Uh, they try to offer a solution that makes sense to you for your business. Uh, they've been doing so for the past 11 years. Uh, they are trusted by ABC Studios, the city of Las Vegas, and Cirx, and many, many more. And they have a support, 24/7 uh, support that is both in Spanish and English. Uh, catch you guys later. I'm gonna be uploading more videos soon uh, about these demos. So, catch you later.